stock. And um, we're just going to continue on where I'm off. I'll give you a list of everything that I've done to it as we do a car walk around. But it's a 1983 280ZX Datsun. It is a drift car build. They're not seen on the track very often, if at all. Um, the problem is, is the suspension geometry is completely wrong for drifting. But I have a love for the car, so we're going to go ahead and do it. Um, so here it is. It has a 2.6 liter or 2.8 liter inline six uh, single overhead cam, non cross flow head, which is kind of a bugger, but we'll get over it. So so far, what I've done to it is I've put BC Racing coilovers, um, STR just cheapy wheels, 15 by eight with uh, 205 50R15 front and a 195 um, 50R15 rear. Uh, this way I get a little bit less grip in the rear. It's just a really um, dull, regular street tire on the back. And then if I can remember, which I cannot, it is a Nitto Neogen. Kind of cool. If you like the JDM stuff, it has Japanese writing on it and crap, but I guess if you're into that, I don't really care. But, um, so yeah, um, Planet, it's also run, it's a zero or offset with a 35 millimeter spacer. I don't know if you can see it, but, oh God, that was bright. So also what we've done, we have installed Corvo Forza seats, not the extra large or anything because I have a pretty slim waist. Uh, Sparco two inch four point harnesses, which is mounted to a harness bar, which is welded to the back frame. I know that's a really bad weld, but it passes tech. And mounted to the stock seat um, seat belt harnesses. We also have an NRG quick disconnect with um, grip royal wheel. And this is so this is an 83. I put a 79 transmission in it because. I have long gears in the back. This is a shorter, or short gears in the back, and this is a shorter gear transmission. Different ratios than the 83, but I blew up the 83s actually. This is my dad's car. It's pretty badass. It's stock. <laughs> this is the old transmission. Uh, threw a bearing out on the bottom shaft, so planning on getting that rebuilt. I do like the gears in that a little bit better, and if I ever go LSD, I'll go with a smaller gear in the differential. So it's a little bit easier, but I plan on putting um, a 350 V8 Chevy block. I know it's blasphemy, but some people might be into that. So this is the engine, and it does have camber kit in the front, or not camber kit, it comes with the coilovers. Um, the VC Racing coilovers do come with a camber top hat. And um, I haven't done anything to the engine yet. Uh, recently, I kind of destroyed it by um, trying to hook up a rev limiter to it. And when I hooked the rev limiter up to it, it fried all the electronics. I had to replace the ECU. Uh, I'm actually going to do the uh, new fuel rail. Got the fuel rail cleaned up over here. Got it all nice and badass painted green. And then we're also going to change the fuel injectors because we need to do that bad and probably wash it but for today I wanted to give you an idea of how to take your differential out to have it sent out or do it yourself uh, and have your diff welded essentially uh, you lift the car up just the rear end so with a 280 uh, I know it's not gonna be very common but you take out the four bolts and back here and you do the same thing on the other side and as you can see I can hold this and spin this tire over here so we don't want to do that while we're drifting and so we also you have this bolt here to take out you have these two bolts here and then these two bolts right here then of course you also have to take the four out of the drive shaft, which we'll get to that when the time comes. I just want to wait for this to stop trading. I don't want to get dripped on by 98 because that's gross. 
But yeah, we'll get back to it. Oh, and by the way, my seats are hard mounted to the floor with four points. Don't worry, it is four, I promise you. There's one, two, and there's one on the inside of the rail in here somewhere underneath these lines. But, uh, alright, I'll do an update when we're back. So, now Nate wants to show up. Again, diff is out. Now Nate shows up. Because he's a winner. Oh god, that's bright. Okay. Alright, so. We did not get the diff welded today. The guy that we were going to have weld it, we didn't, uh, the communication was bad, so it didn't get done. Um, but I'm possibly going to have somebody else weld it while I'm at work, if that works out. But the diff is out. We got the tail end cleaned up so we can paint it pink. Because, I mean, why not? It's on a low car, and my top hats are pink anyways. Ah... Oh. This is Nathan. Hey everybody, Nathan, say hello. What's going he's on? going to be helping. He's the other member of our drift team. Um, no grip on life. Check it out on Facebook at Team No Grip. No spaces. But we did get work done. So we got the new fuel rail put on. Uh, new fuel injectors. We deleted that ugly fan that was right there that you seen earlier in the video. And yeah, hopefully it's running right. We seem to have proper pressure now. Uh, car back is or is back on all four wheels so we're good there and we just got to finish cleaning up then we're going home but I'm gonna go ahead and throw the diff in the back of my Jeep and call it a night go play some video games so we'll go see some go play some Forza uh, if you guys want to know anything about the car ask I am more than willing to do any type of video you guys want um, whether it's a rundown on the car, we're going to be going to Evergreen Drift this weekend. Um, we'll do videos of that. I'll get my GoPro out and we'll do um, head cam. I have all. I have a mount for my roll bar, and you'll see his Supra uh, Toyota. Or yeah, it's a Toyota Supra. Why don't you talk about your car? Since it's uh, going to be in here too. 85 Mark II Supra, uh, 2JZ swapped, non-turbo for now. Um, not a whole lot else going on with it. Still limited slip diff, so he's going to be out drifting me like crazy with welded. But I'm going to try to keep up. I'm going to do, do my better. best to keep up. As long as my car is running right, you'll do. We'll be good. Yeah. We can maybe tandem, do some cageless tandems. Oh, I'm going to try. Cool. So yeah, that's. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, drift is life.